discuss uh, wolf kishner reduction and uh, wolf kishner reduction is different from uh, the other types of reduction reactions which we have discussed till date uh, the main difference is that uh, this is a non metallic uh, uh, catalyzed uh, reduction and this was given by uh, two scientists uh, namely uh, wolf and uh, kishner and th what they have done is uh, they have fused uh, carbonyl compounds as substrates and converted them into methylene compounds using uh, hydrazine and a base as the catalyst uh, in the first step what happens is that hydrazine reacts with the uh, oxygen of the carbonyl to give us hydrazones and these hydrazones on uh, heating they undergo elimination of nitrogen gas to give us uh, methylene compounds as the products uh, but uh, the main uh, advantage of wolf kishner reduction is uh, that uh, in comparison to uh, metallic counterparts like clemenson reduction that this uh, method can be applied to compounds containing acid sensitive functional groups such as pyrroles and uh, high molecular weight compounds whereas clemenson reduction uh, has a drawback that it cannot be used uh, for acid sensitive uh, functional groups uh, however uh, uh, the wolf kishner reduction this requires highly basic conditions therefore uh, the disadvantage in case of wolf kishner is that it is unsuitable for base sensitive substrates the <coughs> basic mechanism of the reaction is that as i have told you that in the first step uh, the aldehydes or ketones they react with hydrazine uh, to give us uh, corresponding uh, hydrazone derivatives then the base uh, will remove uh, one proton from uh, the nh2 function of uh, functional group of the hydrazone and uh, elimination of this proton will lead to the formation of uh, this uh, type of uh, uh, diimide uh, will be formed and one more proton uh, will be removed uh, by the base from this and we will get a diimide ion as the intermediate then this diimide ion uh, this will create uh, shifting of this Uh, negative charge on this nitrogen will produce a nitrogen nitrogen triple bond and this bond will break to give us this type of alkyl anion uh, will be formed as uh, further intermediate and this will abstract one proton from the uh, solvent that is alcohols and we will get the corresponding uh, methylene product uh, uh, as the consequence of this And then uh, there are many uh, modifications which have been done in case of wolf kishner conditions and depending upon that uh, how uh, the different types of functional groups present uh, in the aldehyde and ketones they can be saved so as to convert those aldehydes and ketones into methylene compounds for example uh, the most important one is huang minlon uh, modification so here uh, what happens is uh, that uh, the carbonyl compound is refluxed in 85% hydrogen hydrate uh, and three equivalents of sodium hydroxide as a base and here uh, this ethylene glycol act as a solvent when this is heated then uh, distillation uh, of water and excess hydrogen uh, hydrazine uh, is done so as to have uh, minimum uh, amount of uh, side products so uh, when the, uh, the excess hydrazine and uh, water they are eliminated we will get these types of uh, hydrazone they will be converted into methylene compounds and uh, <coughs> depending upon the type of substrate uh, we will get uh, the amount of product which is formed uh, for example in this particular uh, compound which is having uh, an acidic functional group also in addition to 
the keto functional group the acid group remains intact and we can get the corresponding uh, reduction of this carbonyl group only and uh, this kind of reduction we can say is this selective reduction then is uh, barter modification so here uh, this is applicable for the reduction of sterically hindered carbonyl compounds and this is mainly applied to the steroids uh, because in case of uh, steroids uh, these uh, c11 carbonyl uh, group which is a sterically hindered group uh, that is very difficult to reduce so but uh, by using uh, barton modification we use anhydrous uh, hydrazine and the sodium metal uh, is used in addition to this and uh, these uh, carbonyl compounds uh, which uh, this one particularly c11 carbonyl group which is a steric uh, sterically hindered carbonyl group is also reduced uh, in addition to the other carbonyl which is not sterically hindered which can be uh, reduced by any uh, reducing agent then <coughs> Uh, another modification is cram modification so here what is done is that we add uh, preformed uh, hydrazones the hydrazones formed from the carbonyl compounds they act as the substrates so in presence of a strong base like potassium tertiary uh, oxide and anhydrous uh, dimethyl sulfoxide as a solvent we can uh, convert these hydrazones into the uh, corresponding methylene compounds at very mild conditions at room temperature you can say and they can be converted into uh, respective uh, or corresponding methylene compounds in 64 percent heat similarly uh, with the modification these types of modifications using preformed uh, tocyl hydrazones the deoxygenation of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds can also be achieved for example if we are having this type of alpha beta unsaturated ketone on reaction with the tocyl uh, hydrazine this will be converted into the corresponding uh, alpha beta unsaturated uh, carbonyl tocyl hydrazone and this uh, tocyl hydrazone in presence of reducing agent uh, sodium cyanoborohydride will be converted into these types of alkenes uh, with uh, high uh, stereoselectivity only E geometric isomer is formed in these cases. Then is uh, Kegloity reaction here also uh, the treatment of uh, preformed tocyl hydrazones like this with uh, uh, reducing agents like lithium aluminum hydride and THF uh, by reflexing overnight they can be converted into methylene compound and in addition because lithium aluminum hydride can also reduce the uh, ester function group this is also reduced to alcohols and the product is formed in 65 percent amount uh, now if instead of uh, lithium aluminium hydride uh, lithium aluminium hydride we use uh, sodium cyanoborohydride as reducing agent then the ester or amide or cyano or nitro or chloro substituents they are not affected so that means if the same reaction is conducted in sodium cyanoborohydride then uh, the reduction of this ester group will not take place and we will get the corresponding esters after the reduction of this moiety only and the mechanism uh, of uh, sodium cy uh, cyanoborohydride reduction uh, has been studied uh, using uh, deuterium labeling experiments so if we are having say this type of n tocyl uh, hydrazone uh, and this is reacted with uh, dialkyl borane uh, on um, silica gel in presence of uh, uh, chloroform as uh, solvent uh, the temperature range for the reaction is minus 42 degree centigrade to room temperature then uh, these are converted into these types of E uh, alkenes they are formed and here what happens is uh, in the first step 
the hydride ion uh, will get attached to this carbon and this double bond will shift to this place and tosylate will be removed uh, in the first step and this is uh, called as uh, uh, then uh, this type of uh, allylic uh, diazine is formed and this allylic diazine undergoes a rearrangement like this this hydrogen is transferred to this place this double bond goes to uh, this place to form a carbon carbon double bond and nitrogen gets eliminated and we will get these types of intermediates which rearrange into diastereoselective products of uh, this type then uh, mayor's modification uh, here what happens is again uh, the sterically hindered uh, carbonyl groups they can be easily converted into uh, these types of uh, corresponding methylene compounds and uh, here enter shibutyl dimethyl salyl hydrazones so modification is that uh, these uh, hydrazones that is enter shibutyl dimethyl salyl hydrogens they are first formed from the uh, carbonyl compounds and uh, these uh, products uh, they are formed this is the intermediate that is enter shibutyl dimethyl salyl hydrogen and this on reaction with uh, base tertiary uh, potassium tertiary butoxide in tertiary butanol using dmsol solvent and a catalytic amount of scandinium uh, triflate uh, will be converted into the corresponding methylene compound and uh, this uh, modification is a rapid and efficient uh, modification at uh, the reaction can take place at a room temperature then uh, this uh, wolf kishner reduction can also be achieved in case of stained uh, rings uh, which are adjacent to carbonyl group for example this is uh, carbon carbon uh, trip uh, carbon carbon uh, three membered ring uh, which is a stained ring present adjacent to this carbonyl so when this is reacted with potassium tertiary butoxide in diethylene uh, glycol then uh, breaking of uh, this ring take place at this place and uh, after the formation of methylene compound we will get this type of alkene and bond breaking carbon carbon bond breaking at this and uh, ring expansion will take place in such type of compounds then uh, wolf kishner reduction is also an effective uh, method for the synthesis of different types of uh, alkaloids which are naturally occurring or biologically active compounds for example aspidospermidine uh, this compound can be synthesized uh, through the formation of uh, reduction products by a wolf kishner reduction so when this uh, type of carbonyl compounds so you can see over here uh, one is this ketone and one carbonyl compound is amidic carbonyl compound and uh, the advantage of this uh, reducing agent under wolf kishner conditions is that only uh, this keto group is reduced this amidic keto group is not reduced with wolf kishner conditions so reduction of only this uh, keto group take place and we will get the corresponding methylene group and then uh, for the formation of this aspidospermidine we can uh, further reduce this uh, with the uh, other reducing agents like lithium aluminium hydride then another uh, application is uh, the synthesis uh, of different types of functionalized uh, midazole uh, substrates uh, on an industrial scale that can also be achieved under wolf kishner conditions so when hydrazine eight equivalents and powdered potassium hydroxide four equivalents uh, they are reacted uh, with diethylene glycol as a solvent uh, and a mixture of water then this uh, midazolium derivative uh, carbonyl compound can be reduced to the corresponding methylene group in 85 percent 
similarly uh, triterpenoids uh, they can be converted into for example this one triterpenoid enedione so you can see over here we are having two uh, carbonyl groups present and uh, the less centered 7 keto group uh, the reduction of less centered 7 keto group take place by uh, hydrazine and KOH under wolf kishner conditions and we will get the corresponding uh, methylene group at this position and uh, the reaction is very selective because this alpha beta unsaturated ketone is not affected and this acetate group is also not affected this is not further reduced so reaction is a selective uh, reaction similarly in this compound also only difference from here is that uh, this carbon carbon double bond is not present instead here the carbon carbon double bond is there but uh, reduction of only uh, this less hindered keto group take place and uh, neither this keto nor this carbon carbon double bond or this ester uh, group is uh, undergo reduction uh, but these two groups they are not uh, undergoing any type of uh, reaction so uh, again this uh, is an example of selective reduction at less hindered ketones so these are the references which have been used uh, for preparing this lecture uh, some uh, internet sources and uh, named reaction book of JJ Lee. Thank you very much.